this is James McGrew. We are living in Wichita, Kansas. All right, so we're going to jump into it. If you're ready to eat, sleep, play Wichita, make sure you stay tuned. we got some goodies for you, uh, some stuff that nobody else is going to give you. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we'll jump on to choosewichita.com. I'm going to leave all of the links in the description. Um, keep in mind, this information uh, was pulled from a study from WSU back in February of this year. So those numbers probably have changed just a tad bit, but it gives you a rough idea what to expect. So top 10 city where you can afford to live alone, number four city in the nation with the lowest cost of living, top 10 for first time home buyers. So median listing price, 189.9. We're talking uh, median home price, downtown average rents, citywide average rents, event tickets, uh, annual commute times. And they're throwing us against some bigger cities, you know, Kansas City, Oklahoma City, Dallas, L.A. So, I mean, it kind of goes to show, yeah, you're getting quite a bit more for your money. <clears throat> I got a couple buddies up in Kansas City right now. It's really not too far off. Um, I have one right now who we actually just uh, celebrated his birthday Tuesday up in Kansas City. Uh, he's over in Converge's uh, KC with a loft, a loft and a garage spot for about $1,100, I think. And then I got another buddy who's a little, a little more southern uh, on the southern part of KC. I think he's got a, he's spending probably about the same for a little bit more space though. So, but you got the download for the comparison guide gives you kind of an idea salary equivalents. So like you could use this chart down here. This would be the equivalent of uh, $50,000 in Wichita. So if you're making $50,000 in Wichita, you'd have to make 83,371 in LA and it kind of works its way down, kind of giving you an idea, you know, Dallas, Kansas city, Missouri, of course, uh, Oklahoma City, Denver. They threw Denver in the mix. But like I said, this information is uh, from February of 2022. You got the uh, comparison guide, give you a little bit more information. We will uh, calculate the cost. So they actually give you the calculator. Gives you uh, the information to plug in. So we could just say, hey, we're making, you know, just fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. We're moving from. We'll pick a different city. They had Dallas in there. Let's throw in Austin. We're moving from Austin. We're moving to Wichita, and like I said, all this stuff's going to be here. So if you want to mess with it, you're more than welcome. The information will be there. Uh, we also want to make sure and, and thank uh, South Central Kansas MLS, Listing Service, WSU Center for Real Estate, and Black Hills Energy for the data. But this kind of goes into a little, a little more depth than that. So if you're earning $50,000 after tax dollars in Austin, Texas, the comparable after tax income in Wichita, Kansas is $43,639. So kind of, you know, give you an idea if you're moving for, moving here from Austin, you know, your grocery cost is going to be more. Your housing cost is going to be less, a lot less. But I mean, utilities, a little bit more transportation, a little bit more health co cost, health care cost, miscellaneous 
a little less kind of gives you an idea and it just gives you a little bit more information not only comparing the two cities but the national average as well so i mean you know and not all of it's going to be cheaper i mean uh, down in texas you're gonna have a lot of your oil wells uh, a lot of your cattle so some of that stuff is going to be quite a bit cheaper as you can tell housing <laughs> Housing is quite a bit cheaper here. Utilities, transportation, healthcare, what have you. You know, steaks, ground beef, sausage. You know, that's not not really surprising. Not really surprising at all with a, a lot of the, your cattle being down in Texas. Steaks, oil, so, you know, gas. Um, just... Uh, just a few weeks ago, we went, went down to uh, Dallas, my wife and a real good friend of mine, to go catch a concert. And it just, you know, the further south you, you get, the cheaper that gas is getting because you're closer to the oil. They're not having to transport it quite as far. And we were in Dallas. So, you know, Austin's even further south. So, but yeah, I mean, it kind of gives you an idea. Like I said, the two cities, the cities, you're comparing in the national average, you know, coffee, all that good stuff. So that's a nice little tool. But um, you'll find that on the cost of living tab. We'll go down there, browse jobs. And like I stated in a previous video, you know, plenty of major companies out here hire like crazy. Um, I can name two off off the top of my head. I can tell you Textron is still hiring heavy, heavy, heavy hiring. Textron, that's Cessna, that's Hawker Beechcraft. Uh, last I heard, Spirit was still hiring. Plenty of variety, not just aviation, you know, plenty of, of variety, like I said. Advanced manufacturing, aerospace, energy, healthcare, technology, logistics, transportation, financial services, and they have all, all your jobs there. And like I said, we'll throw this in there because you can't play, you can't live unless you're working, you know. We'll throw that in there. Just... Uh, give you an idea, jump into kind of some of the nightlife, show the map. So downtown, northeast, southwest, northwest, you know, uh, further down. Uh, got a couple casinos. We got one down in Mulvane, another up in Park City. Uh, this isn't just bars, restaurants. Um, if you've never... <laughs> If you've never went axe throwing, check it out. Check it out. I want to say we we went to, I want to say it was Blade and Timber. Good old time. Couple, couple drinks, you know, a little axe throwing, but it is, uh, it is a fun time. It certainly is. Uh, we've got Bradley Fair out east. It's going to be your retail therapy, your restaurants, a little bit, a uh, little bit more expensive, you know, and then we get into breweries, uh, bars, some live entertainment venues, you know, Brickyard, uh, Dave and Buster's, you want to go take the kids out, uh, Headshots Bar and Grill, you want to play some video games, have a couple drinks. Um, I've not been to Headshots but I've been to up downs in Kansas City, and from what I, I've been told, it's pretty similar. Um, but uh, up downs is more your retro gaming, like your uh, old school gaming, your '80s, your your early to mid '90s gaming, Mario and all that good stuff. Uh, chicken and pickle. You want to play some pickleball, some cornhole? It's throwing a bead mag through a uh, wooden hole. Um, if you're looking for some live entertainment, 
you know, Brickyard, Wave. Just keep uh, keep going, show you some other places. Oh, that's another one, another uh, axe, axe throne place. Uh, Mort's Martini and Cigar Bar. You want to you wanna enjoy a good uh, martini and cigar? Some live music? It's not too bad. The Monarch's got some really good food. Uh, Norton's Brewing Company, pretty good place. Uh, Old Town District, you go down there, you got Old Town Warren. You can go catch a movie. Uh, Old Chicago, there's some other little places down there. Uh, Pump House over on 2nd Street. This is uh, an another real, real cool bar. Whoops. River City, another another brewing company. Roxy's, you want some, some live entertainment? Uh, if you want to head out west, Cotillion. I've been out there. We went and seen Filter and Saliva like 12 years ago. We went and seen Cinderella out there. You want some laughs, the Looney Bin. I've had uh, several friends, several uh, friend, uh, comedian friends play out at the Looney Bin. If you're not too sure, you know, you just kind of, it'll pull up your information, give you all, give you everything you need to know, kind of some of the stuff going on. Highly suspect. There you go. But yeah, I mean, plenty, plenty to do. There's plenty out east, out west, smack dab in the middle, you know, a little variety. There's a little bit for everybody, you know. Plenty of amenities, bars, lounges, you know, do you want something non-smoking? Plenty, plenty, plenty to do. But that's playing. That's playing hard. So this, some of this, this next one I'm going to uh, briefly show before I, before I show, just do us a solid. If you got a question, reach out. I can't read your mind. Call, text, email, DM, whatever you got to do to get that question answered. I'm here. I'm helping, and I love it. Talking to people each and every day, and I love it. Do me a solid. Like, comment, subscribe. But before we get into this next one, so like I've been saying, I got people reaching out all the time. A lot of it, a lot of it's kind of the same. Hey, you know, it's great to talk to you. We're looking at, uh, you know, this, 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 you know, um, let, let, let me know two or three things you, you like, two or three things you dislike, kind of what your, what your motivation is. I mean, what's important to you? We can kind of get an idea. Let me know. Are you renting? Are you buying? Um, what the number one thing that I, you know, I get is the crime. Hey, you know, is this a good area? Is that a good area? Can you, you know, when I'm telling you in these other videos, hey, I'm not steering you towards this place. I'm not steering you away. We, uh, it's kind of, it's not 100% what that entails, but it's a good part of it. It's a good piece of it. So when we're talking about a place, and I'll, I'll uh, throw some cards in there, uh, or highlighting, say, a school district. Um, hey, yeah, this school district, number one, you know, we got to, we got to, that's why we throw some of this other stuff in there. Hey, you know, this list here or that there, you know, we have a set of guidelines we have to adhere to, you know, fair housing and all that. And uh, I'm not trying to bore you, but, you know, if you reach out and you're like, hey, is this it? You know, and I tell you, hey, I can't really, you know, I'll throw you this website, but don't want you to get disappointed and I've kind of been there a time or two, but you know, they take that stuff very seriously, you know, and it's because our opinions hold a lot of weight. Think about it. 
you know, this for a lot of people, this is the biggest purchase you're ever going to make. Even if you're coming from somewhere, you know, where that cost of living is so much higher, you know, even here, you know, coming from, say, you know, Cali, New York, Texas, you know, whatever. And it really can hurt communities. It can really hurt spots, you know. But, you know, I'll <laughs> just kind of giving you an idea. If you do reach out, if you do have questions, I love helping. I just want to make sure I'm helping you make the most of your time. I want you to know, hey, okay, this is what this is this is what to expect. This is what I'm gonna ask, you know. Hey, that's great. Are you needing to buy or sell? Okay. And if you come at me with, you know, hey, I, I want to stay out of the, of the, you know, rough areas, or I want to, you know, no crime ridden area, or like we can't, we can't, <laughs> we can't do that. So what I can do is give you the tools, and you're able to uncover this information to help you make that informed decision. Now, once you have that information, once you're kind of ready to go beyond that, you know, I'm here for you. I don't want you thinking it's a cop out. It's, it's a big deal. And they do take it very seriously, you know? So, but yeah. I mean, there's plenty, plenty to do. Plenty that they didn't plug on there. Kind of show you a little bit, you know. Sedgwick County Zoo, Sedgwick County Park. It's huge, huge place. Uh, a couple of years ago, we did an Easter event here. Super fun time. Had a great time. Um, we actually, we just got um, sports betting allowed here so down at uh, kansas star they'll be able to help you out with that um parks like we do some parks here and there but in town for for me for me like pawnee prairie park and this is over by um eisenhower airport so you get off on uh, kellogg here this is kellogg jump off on uh, tyler and you'll be able to uh, go to the park, take the kids to the park. This is one of their bigger parks. So, you know, just uh, know your limits because only you know them. I have uh, overdid it a time or two myself. Plenty, plenty of stuff. And like I said, you want to fool around with this map, you see something, touch it, it'll highlight it. So, hey, there, hey, look, you know, there's the cotillion. Oh, hey, look, Party Express bus, Twin Peaks West, great beers. You know, skating. I'm still tripping on, we have skateboard parks here. I did not know that for the longest time. So this indoor bowling, you know, go-karts, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of fun stuff. But, and then we'll kind of jump onto this next one. So this here is a community crime map. And good luck getting any, any other agent to give you this information. I'd actually stumbled upon this uh, doing a little research uh, for uh, one of my other videos. And it's research information reported uh, to local agencies. And, you know, this is more than just Kansas. You can do this for any of the states. And uh, some are a little bit more than others. But it will give you, we'll just zoom on in. 
and uh, this information will be in here. Come on. And just kind of take it with a grain of salt. You know, you have to protect people's information. So it might be slightly different, like the lo location, stuff like that. But, you know, if you're honestly, if you're going to come at me asking about crime uh, and stats and, you know, is this area safe? This is what I'm going to give you. So, you know, I'm not going to get into it. It's kind of kind of a little weird, but, you know, it's important. It's important. You have that, that information, you have that knowledge. So you're probably not going to find any other, any other agents throwing anything like this. I don't know. You might, I've, uh, I've yet to see one. So, and like I said, I'll keep this information in the, uh, we'll just throw this stuff in the uh, comments. I'll throw it in the description as well. So give me just one second. And I will throw that in there. We'll just throw that one. So this one here links to the calculator for the cost of living. It links to uh, the find a job function. We'll throw visit Wichita in there as well. Oh, man. Oh, uh, well, I'll throw them in the description for sure then. But this kind of gives you an idea um, just what to expect, you know, working, eating, sleeping, playing, you know, um, answering some of these more common questions when people do reach out because, you know, it's only natural. You're going to want to know, and we have to go about it a certain way. So, but that's kind of what I was looking at going over. We'll think about it real quick. We talked jobs, uh, cost of living. We talked uh, some nightlife, a little entertainment, and then we gave you the, the tools to uh, be in the know for safety. So give you a couple minutes. If anybody has any questions, we can answer those. If not, I will bounce off and we can all get this weekend started. I am a busy man. I figured also, well, well, I got a minute, just something a little bit different. You know, the, uh, I'm sure the car rides get a little old after a while. We do have a couple more coming up. Um, probably. Yeah. Two more, two more I can think of right now at the moment. And I think that might be it. Cause it's really, really kind of, uh, let's see one sec. Throw that up. So, I mean, really, what we've been covering, what I've covered. So we've covered, <clears throat> we've covered Derby, we've covered Mulvane, Rose Hill. Oh. 
kind of give you a better idea of the outline. So Derby. Rose Hill. Hayesville. Let me get into some of the smaller towns. Clearwater. Um, I want to say Colwich is smaller. Yeah, Colwich is smaller than Clearwater. Population-wise, I believe. Maze. We'll be talking about Goddard next. Another solid town out west. And then I think we will end it with Bel Air. Um, they've been doing some major, major construction in Bel Air on Woodlawn. And I've been kind of holding off on doing that hoping that they would get that finished. So yeah, I'm thinking they might have, I'll have to check. Uh, Bel Air, Andover. And then we can kind of change things up, you know, Park City, Valley Center. There's still, there's still a bunch more, but, you know, I figure, what, 13, 14 is probably enough. You know, kind of highlight some of these towns. The Try to stay with the immediate, the immediate suburbs around. Oh, yes. And uh, Newton, I had somebody really, really want to see Newton. But, uh, it's more so a town, but that's okay. If I've shown quite a few houses up in Newton, sold sold several, so it's it's a decent town. It's a good town. I just you know you're a little bit further. You know if you're working in Wichita, you got to be okay with that commute. If you're okay with it, okay, there you go. So. But yeah, I mean, I mean, really, kind of looking at it, it's kind of comparable to like Kansas City, you know. We just uh, we just came from Kansas City Tuesday. Good, good buddy of mine's birthday was Tuesday, and it's kind of similar, you know, going through Overland Park and Lenexa and some of the suburbs. It's just a lot busier, <laughs> a lot busier. So, but, uh, yep, yeah. let's see, I think, I think that might have been it, yeah, like I said, we'll cover, we're covering Goddard next, um, probably have that one next week, and we still need to, I still need to get out and wrap, uh, wrap Bel Air. And then I'm thinking by then, I'm thinking by then we'll uh, do some different some different content. I'm always open to suggestions. You got any questions? Like I, like I've been saying, you know, reach out however you need to reach out. Can't read your mind. Do me a solid like, comment, subscribe. If if uh, you know someone that you think this might help, you know. Show it to them. I'm here to help. I can't help unless you reach out. So, but let's see. Was there, did I have any questions? Nothing else. Going once, going twice. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you hanging out with me on this Friday night. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.